So we're out here today. It's uh, you know February, and what February kind of kind of means to me, pretty much all across the country, is pre-spawn. Start. What happens is you start getting some of these some of these warming trends, you know, that come through and you start watching that water creep up. And uh, yeah, it just, it just flashes, screams uh, the word pre-spawn. And, you know, a lot of people, uh, you know, that may not fish every day, you know, what is pre-spawn? What are some of the things that you look for? Um, you know, all it is, is, is these fish the you know the largemouth smallmouth the same way uh spotted bass all the same way they're just gonna they're gonna come out of their wintering hole and start to stage uh you know a staging place you know it's gonna be a place where they're gonna hold up for a week or two for instance this is you know over here they're wintering they get a warming tre trend or the moon gets right or something triggers for them to move they may move up and they may just move straight up in the water column, uh, but they're gonna move and a lot of times they're gonna stage. Um, you know, and, and, and they, kinda, they kinda wanna stage as a group uh, in most cases. And then they're, and what they'll do, they don't wanna go all the way to the spawning grounds because you know, they may move up there and uh, you know, get another cold front and then have them move back. So they'll stage you know, they may stage at the mouth of a creek on a ledge. And then, you know, the next little warming trend or whatever, they may move up halfway back in the creek and then stage in a, in a creek channel bend. Another warming trend, they may move up and start staging under docks, you know, the next staging place close. And then, uh, you know, and also I've seen, you know, they'll, they'll come back. I've seen them move up, you know, second or third stop. You get a really, really bad cold front and they'll pull back. A lot of times on these staging places, they want to stage uh, where there's a lot of food. Because um, a lot of times that's where they're just, you know, they come up, the days are getting longer, the water's warming up, they're going to start eating more. You know, they want to eat pretty good to put on that weight to carry them uh, throughout the spawning process. So um, this is probably um winter time going into pre-spawn is my favorite time of year to fish i mean you look at tournament results for me for the most part i tend to do better and i don't want to say that i understand it uh better than anybody else because i don't i just think that i get excited because they're they're as as predictable then as they can be uh all year long you know if i pull in and i've in the practice i've caught them on this point and all of a sudden i pull up and they're gone the weather is going to tell me which way to go you know if it's warmer hey i need to go on back if it's cooled off you know i i either need to go deeper where i'm at or i need to start uh move it out in the creek but you know one thing i will tell you a lot of times and and there's going to be somebody watching this say i live on this lake and whenever the fish stage, they're on the bottom. They, they probably are some places, but they tend to want to rise up in the water column. And the reason being is because, you know, even though the water temperature may be 55, you know, that top four, six foot is going to be warmer. And then you still got that wintertime cold water down there. So, you know, that's over the years before live scope, that's whenever you were able just to fan cast a jerk bait around and catch them because they just tend to kind of float up. They get up there shallower. They want to live in that upper uh, water column. So, you know, a lot of times in the pre-spawn, you're going to see me uh, throwing moving baits, you know, a square bill, uh, you know, if the water, if the water's dirty enough, a spinner bait. And I'm not saying I won't flip a jig or something like that. But I'm gonna I'm gonna be casting these moving baits because I know that that time of year there's groups. Okay, if I go all the way around a creek throwing a square bill and I get one bite, I'm probably gonna check that creek off the list um, for for that day. Um, 
I, I'm looking for areas that's got a bunch of them, you know, quite a few. Now, when I said I'm gonna mark that creek off the list, that's one thing that, that really, really changes this time of year is it's, I've seen them come in overnight. Literally, I was, I was on a lake once, I put my boat in, I fished around, you know, where, where I'd put in, nothing. You know, didn't see nothing, didn't catch nothing. Fished all day, the next day I put in again and fished around that little pocket and they were side by side by side all over the bank. That's how fast um, they can move. And a lot of the movement actually happens at night, uh, I think. So uh, moving baits for me, you know, areas that still have access to deep water relative to the lake. So, you know, a Highland Reservoir, you know, 10 to 25, um, you know, some of these river systems like the Arkansas River, um, you know, deep water may be four to seven, but they still want access there because they're still not fully committed uh, to where they're going. So just think about that. I mean, creek channel bends, transit, I mean, creek channel where it turns into a transition is perfect because they can move uh, either way. And obviously when I'm out fishing pre-spawn, I've, I mean, I, I think about where they wintered and where they're going. And that's where I am trying to run into them. And in that time of year, you want to stay uh, one step ahead of them. You want them moving to you. You want to move with them. You don't want to be a step behind them. So hopefully you learned something, man. Thanks for riding along.